Okay, so I'm in Walmart. I've decided to go carnivore. I've decided to do the carnivore diet. So I'm currently just trying to find foods that I can eat. And I'll show you guys later. flavor in there. So I'm going to add some more butter.
I just had to come on camera and say that this is the shit. It tastes so good. I wasn't expecting it. It tastes so good. But it tastes so good. I'm going to make this again tomorrow. Mmm. I like these big mouth straws. No sausage, no pork sausage that ran out. But I got scramble it up and throw it back in there for another minute and a half. Okay, so this is day four of me being on the carnivore diet, and I do not feel great as I did when I first started. Um, my research online says this is something like <laughs> the carb flu, so it's just my body trying to readjust and find the um the fat to use for energy from my understanding um if i'm saying that wrong please feel free to comment down below um but pretty much that's where i am i'm not giving up i will keep pushing through um what i will say is that it feels no different than a like a sugar rush like the drop from the sugar rush uh, so yeah if I can push through those I can push through this so yeah just a quick update
Gary Fries. Yeah. No. So this is felling. Mm. 
this is my first time trying to make egg noodles and I failed. I'm gonna make these egg squares with this gravy. Yeah, actually really good. It's giving me more breakfast than lunch. Kind of like my own IHOP at home. But yeah. Little rolled egg over there. Mm. Yeah. Make sure I get some of that gravy on each bite. Take my little gravy, store it in this little bone. I might use it later on this week. I probably have. Not even this week. Maybe later today. I have to get ready for a job. What I gotta do? Y'all didn't know. Your boy got five jobs, including his own. Huh? Container. They come in handy for stuff like that. But yeah. That is my chicken and egg tower dinner. That's what I call it. Fluffy egg tower dinner. It really is good. Something about that whipped um, cream cheese. I don't have a lot of eggs, but they didn't really make what y'all saw. Got the little roll. That's cute or whatever. I refine this. This would be a hit. So I got eggs, gravy, and chicken. All kind of water. Mm. That egg is damn good. It's like butter. Nothing in your mouth. I don't got my food. I'm looking for it. Bye.
What was the question? I can't hear. Name somewhat. Name something Pinocchio might stick his nose into. Oh. And you said a keyhole. No, he said a door. <laughs> Who said a door? Now, wait, hold on. Can I ask a question? <laughs> is it is it literal stuff or can like just anything? Oh, okay. It's a leftover day. Put the squash on the chicken. I'm about to throw it in the microwave. So last night I went to a bachelor party and I was pretty lit. I woke up hella tired. I didn't go to bed until around like five. And I woke up at like two. So, and I was pretty fucked up last night. I didn't drink any alcohol, but what I was drinking was some infused shit that had only had like five calories, no anything else, um, which I think is like the only drink that you can use as a carnivore and not break your diet. Consuming all of that made me even more hungry. So I went over my little limit on my app, but that's okay. It was still all animal products. So I didn't break the diet per se. Just overindulged because I was super up there. I was on cloud nine. <laughs> but yeah. Um the drink that I'm going to share with you guys is a great alternative for drinking alcohol. And you can still get that buzz that you desire when all your friends are consuming alcohol the whole time. So, yeah. Baked chicken. Slices and butter. Four eggs. Half a container of this. Whip, whip. 